Hello Capricorn, it's my lady and this is my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly straight to the point reading in the week of December 4th through the 7th, uh, was it 7? 4th through 10 I believe, let me make sure, I don't know what the heck is going on with my brain right now, well I know I'm just still trying to get better. I'm still still got a cough, so I apologize for that right now before it happened because it's gonna happen. Um, but four through eleven, I don't know why I put four seven. Four through eleven, two thousand twenty three. The cards I'm using today are Wisdom of the House of Night by PC Cass, and I'm closing off with. One card from um, Fortune Reading Cards by Sharina Star. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, setting up personal readings, commenting, and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Capricorn? What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So we got the Earth card reverse. So I do feel like somebody is trying to hide some changes that they have going on. Um, This could be mental changes. This could be physical changes, but I'm thinking more so of physical changes. Yeah, somebody, it's just like um, something that's not going right with someone's body or not going normal with someone's body and they're trying to hide it, okay? Trying to hide it. All right, so we got the trap card here, so I do feel like somebody uh, feels a prisoner, okay? So we got the belonging car here. So it looked like somebody feels like a prisoner in their house. Somebody feels like they trapped in a house, trapped in a relationship, okay? Um, I'm going to show you what I've seen, tell you what I've seen. So it looked like somebody may have a child or maybe pregnant or may have some kind of life-changing contract connected to somebody that they're dealing with or uh, or just starting and is making them stuck to the person that they're with, okay? Or in the situation that they're in. All right, so we got the visions card reverse here. So with the visions card reverse, I do feel like I didn't see this coming. Nobody didn't see this coming. This is what was not planned. And I feel like um, the person that this is happening to is usually able to see things. Uh, but at this time, I'm not able to see, okay? I wasn't able to see. So we got the self-worth card. So I do feel like somebody has been going in and out of, of with their self-esteem. I'm good enough. I'm not good enough. Somebody just kept going back and forth. And now I do feel like somebody is like in a numb stage. And I feel like I'm just moving. Okay. I feel like I'm just moving, but I feel... Like, this is why I feel stuck here. So, um, somebody definitely in, in a transition in their life right now, and they're uh, just moving forward, okay? Moving forward, but don't don't know where they're going, okay? Mm. I, I feel like I'm a lot in my head. I feel like there's a lot of planning going on, okay? I feel like there's a lot in my head. There's a lot of planning going on. But I feel stuck. Like I can't make none of these plans come true. So we got the loyalty card here. Wow. Okay, so I feel like somebody is staying at this place. Staying with this person, with these people. Because they feel like they're not good enough. Okay, and loyalty. So those are two big things will definitely keep us in situations we we deserve more than, okay? But that's why somebody got that loyalty and uh, they feel like 
you know, I have to be here, okay? But that's a mental trap, okay? <laughs> that's a mental trap. Whatever they did, if they did it so you can stick around, oh, that's definitely not cool. All right, so we got the beauty card here. So I do feel like somebody is growing. Um, I do feel like physically, emotionally, mentally, um, but I do feel like it's still like, I feel trapped, you know? I feel like things ain't moving ha uh, fast enough, okay? Things ain't moving fast enough, but I do feel like with this beauty card here, everything is going to end up all right. Everything is going to end up good. Everything is going to end up working out, um, but definitely a transition and somebody feels lost and I feel like I feel trapped inside of where I am now, okay? I feel trapped. All right. So this could be something that is happening to somebody close to you. Does not have to be happening to you. Um, somebody could be coming to you with these issues. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, that is too many. They say read it, so I'm going to do it. All right. This is a lot. Because there's a lot going on. Definitely a lot of transitions. A lot of transitions happening, okay? Uh, first, we got unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, hope. Um, you radiate and attract great love, okay? So I do feel like new things is starting. Um, I do feel like a better understanding of what's going on and what's going on in your life is getting ready to happen or this person's life. Um, but I do feel like it's definitely a, a new beginning, new change, okay? Um, and I do feel like a new relationship is getting ready to come up as well. And I do feel like this will give you a little bit of stability, okay? Or this person. Oh, yes. So definitely love coming in. There are two paths ahead. Uh, be true to yourself, okay? So it's like... When you feel that feeling for this person, go for it, okay? But if you getting a feeling for somebody coming up and it's just like, hmm, I don't really trust this person, keep moving. That's not the one, okay? Right. Oh, goodness. So it looks like somebody needs love, want love. Love is in the air, okay? Um, But I do feel like somebody is stuck in a situation first. Somebody needs to move out, move away from this situation so they can get this love that's waiting for them. That's like, all, is that all the love cards there? I thought it was only three. Nah. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Uh, but everybody know this one ain't always connected to love. But I do feel like somebody do have a relationship that's coming. That's going to end up in marriage. It's going to end up in some kind of contract, some kind of getting together, okay? Um, so, yeah, I do feel like somebody could have had a breakup or just, like, could be just getting into relationships. Um, but I feel like... Uh, I feel like I miss my marriage or I need that stability. Some people need it. Some people don't. I do feel like here somebody needs that connection. Okay. All right. Be aware. Be careful uh, on who you trust. Like I said a second ago, everybody that come in ain't going to be that shining armor or uh, golden glass slipper, whatever. Okay. So just pay attention to all the signs. Okay. All right, we got the key. So new beginnings, directions, and adventures wait for you. Um, I mean, wait for those ready to let go of the past, okay? Um, so that makes me feel like one of these red flags, big red flags is somebody always talking about yesterday, the day before, and they ex, okay? So just make sure you um, pay close attention to what they say and what they doing. You know, it ain't like having a magnifying glass up to their lips or whatever, but it's just like listen attentively okay look at that so i do feel like somebody is getting ready to get into a situation where there is love at first sight i do feel like a major connection um and i also feel like oh we belong together kind of thing i do feel like it's gonna be a a, a, a fall right into place kind of thing okay um just don't accept anything, okay? I don't think I read the bottom card on here. Oh, yes. So we got the individuality card here. 
So this makes me feel like when you meet this person, just go ahead and tell them what you like, what you don't like. Be yourself 100% and then you won't end up feeling trapped like you feel right now, okay? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.